Let's head over to Frankfurt, Germany, and catch up in Berlin, actually, with Bloomberg's Matt Miller for that ECB decision, which comes out just a little bit late, Matt Miller. Not the first time we've seen this. This set to drip feed out over in Germany. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, during this uh, coronavirus lockdown, Berlin and Frankfurt are pretty much considered the same place. Everything's done over video conference. The ECB, of course, leaving its main financing rate unchanged at 0 percent, its deposit facility rate unchanged at negative 50 basis points right now. It has added 600 billion euros to the pandemic uh, emergency purchase program. So a little bit more than we had been anticipating. 500 was the number that most people were or, or that markets had really priced in. So the ECB adding an extra 600 billion euros to its pandemic purchase program. Very interesting. It's going to buy 20 billion um, per month plus 120 billion this year under the asset purchase program. Um, so it is extending the time uh, as well out to at least June of 2021. And it says it's going to be flexible. Always good uh, for a central bank to leave itself some optionality there. But I think it's interesting, John, that they have at a time when so many are, are saying it's not really necessary, um, you don't have uh, the kind of tight financial conditions that we had a month ago or two months ago, but they want to deliver a signal and maybe give some of that, uh, try, and, uh, try a little bit more for some reflation as the ECB is doing for the last 10 years. Matt, makes you wonder how bad the forecast will be when we get them in the news conference in about 45 minutes' time. Looking at the price action, I go to two places immediately, euro-dollar and the front and the Italian bond curve. Looking at euro-dollar, actually seeing the euro strengthen off the back of this. Matt, that's interesting to see <coughs> yeah. the euro correlate positively with more QE. And I think the Italian bond market bid at the front end is pretty intuitive, self-explanatory. But Matt, what do you say back to that? Just the idea that the euro is positively correlated with more QE from this ECB. Well, it's interesting. We saw the euro strengthen when we got wind of the fact that Germany was going to pass a bigger um, a stimulus program than had been anticipated. <clears throat> Remember, yesterday and the day before, Angela Merkel, the CDU, and the SPD were trying to work out somewhere between 50 and 100 billion euros of stimulus. They came out with 130 billion euros of stimulus, and that had given a lot of power <clears throat> to the euro. So right now, I think what the market wants to see in order to add strength to the currency is strength for the economy. Our simulcast here on radio and television, we say good morning to all of you across America. With us, Matthew Miller, ensconced in Berlin, toughest tour of duty here at Bloomberg News, and of course, this on the ECB, and as we move to the press conference here uh, in a bit. Carson Bresky is uh, scheduled to be with us here uh, in a bit as well. Matthew, I've got to rip up the script and go to Chancellor Merkel and the flap that we've seen over the last number of days on the G2, the G7, one of your charms is your encyclopedic knowledge of the German press. Does the German media and the German people, do they support Angela Merkel as she takes on the president of the United States? Yeah, I know. Absolutely. She has gotten a real boost in her popularity. Um, not so much because of the way she deals with Donald Trump, but because of the way she has dealt with the coronavirus. You know, Germany hasn't been hit very hard at all. We've been uh, out of lockdown for a number of weeks now. I have to say that in Berlin, with the exception of the fact that you see a lot of masks, um, everything is pretty much back to normal. I went out to an Italian restaurant a couple nights ago, and it was pretty full. So you can go to a restaurant, you can go to a bar, you can now go back to the gym, which I'm going to avoid. But, you know, we have uh, <laughs> the German economy starting to hum back along now. And the concern about unemployment isn't that it falls to a, a record low, but that it falls <clears throat> to a 2015 low. So the German people, I think, are very happy with the yeah. way uh, Merkel's leadership has handled this coronavirus.